Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this number series, as you can see over here, that involves not only the squares, but also the alternating sign. That means positive, negative, positive, negative. And now we are going to find the sum of all these numbers. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here I have just copied it down over here and we have to be a little bit creative in dealing with such kind of number series. Let me go ahead and group these numbers. First two like this one and then next two, then the next two and then finally these two. And now we can see a certain pattern. We see the difference of two squares. And now we are going to apply this well-known formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b times a plus b. In other words, the difference of two squares is always equal to the product of difference and their sum. So therefore, we can write this one as 1 minus 2 times 1 plus 2 and then next group 3 minus 4 times 3 plus 4 and then next is going to be 5 minus 6 times 5 plus 6 and now things go on and on up until we're going to have 9.99 minus 1000 times 999 plus 1000. All right. Now let's go ahead and uh, simplify this one. So that is going to give us negative 1 times 3, likewise plus negative 1 times 7, then plus negative 1 times 11 and and then dot dot and then we're going to have a negative 1 times 1999 and as we can see that negative 1 is in common to make things simple i'm going to just factor out negative 1 outside and inside this bracket that's going to be a 3 plus 7 plus 11 all the way to 1999 and now let's focus on inside this bracket we see a sequence we called this called arithmetic sequence or sometimes we call it arithmetic progression and we call it arithmetic progression because the common difference between these two consecutive terms is 4 isn't it in other words our first number is 3 first term is 3 if we add 4 we're going to get 7 if we add another 4 we're going to get 11 if we add another 4 we're going to get 15 on and on so our first term is a sub 1 is 3 and our last term sometimes we call it a sub n equal to 1999 and we represent the common difference as d equals to in our case it is 4. And now we are going to find the sum of all these sequence these numbers but before that one we need to find out how many these terms are there how many terms means n equals to how much and here's the very simple formula that we will be using to find the number of these terms n equal to the last term minus the first term divided by the common difference whatever we get and then we're going to add just one next to it and in our case, our last term is 1999, first term is 3, and our common difference is 4. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks to find the number of terms. So last is 1999 minus 3 divided by 4. Let's simplify this one first, and then we're going to add 1 to it. 
And here I have just simplified everything step by step. So our n, the number of terms turns out we have 499 plus 1 is going to be 500. So thus we figured out that in this given sequence there are 500 of these terms. Just keep in your mind and I have just wrote it down here as well. And here's our final step. We are going to add these number up. We want to find the sum of all these numbers, this sequence. And here's the well-known formula that we will be using S of N. S stands for the sum of N means in our case N is 500 terms equal to N divided by 2 times this is the first term plus the last term. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks to find the sum. Sum equal to N in our case is 500. So let me write down 500 divided by 2 times our first term is 3. Let's write down 3 plus the last term is 1999. Let's write it down 1999. And here I have just simplified this one out. 500 divided by 2 is 250 and then in this parentheses if we add these two numbers we got 2002 and if we multiply them out we are going to get 500 and then 500 again that means 500,500 and just keep in your mind that this is the sum of this sequence inside this bracket still we have a negative sign negative one outside so we are going to multiply with the negative one times this quantity thus our total sum turns out to be with the negative sign 500,500 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye